Morning Pine class. In our maths lesson today, we're going to revise our Roman numerals to 100. Now, as you can see on my board, I've written out um, the Roman numerals for the numbers 1 to 10, and then for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Now, a really fun thing that I did was to try to make some of these Roman numerals out of household items. And I chose to do this um, using matchsticks. Um, but I would love for you guys to have a go at this using whatever household items you like. So maybe that's pencils, um, maybe matchsticks, maybe knives, maybe toothpicks, whatever you've got in the house. So let's have a look at the numbers that I've made um, from my matchsticks. Okay, so you can see top left, first one, very simple, I've just made the number one from Roman numerals. Um, in the middle at the top, I've made number four, IV. And top right, I've made number five, RV. Next row down on the left, IX represents number nine. In the middle, the X represents number ten. And the L, for those of you that didn't know, and you can double check on my chart, represents the number 50. And finally, the C at the bottom represents 100. And a good way to remember that is that C stands for century, which also means 100. So have a go and see how many of the Roman numerals you can make from household items. I'd be really happy to see your pictures and videos of those. Now, just before we go, um, I'm going to try and make some more numbers um, in Roman numeral matchsticks. So the numbers I've de decided to try to make are these purple ones at the bottom. 14, 29, 43, 57, 81 and 99. And I'm going to try and talk you through those as I do them. So the first one, number 14, when you make these, it's really good to think about each number in terms of tens and units. And that will really help you to create these numbers accurately. So 14, I know, is made up of 110 and 4 units. So the first thing I'm going to do is make that 10. 10, as we know, is our x. So I'm going to make that x to start with. There we go. And I've got 4 units. And I know from my chart that 4 is represented IV. So I'm going to add that IV to my 10. There it is, 14. Okay, let's try the next one. Next one is 29. 29, as we know, is made up of two tens, so that's 20, and then nine units. So first I'm going to make my 20, which as we can see from the board is made up of two X's. So I'll start with that. There's one 10. There's another 10, so that's my 20. And I've also got to remember my 9, because it's 29. And 9, as we can see, is made up of our I and our X. So, there's my I. And I need one more X. There we go. 29. Okay, let's try and do just one more. Let's try and do 43. So, 43 is made up of four tens. So that makes 40 and three units. So if I have a look on my chart, 40 is represented as XL, so I'll start with that. I've got my X there, and I need my L as well. Basically, the X before the L means 10 less than L, which is 50. So 10 less than 50 would be 40. So that's 40, but I need 43. So I need my three units, which look like this. One, two, three. 
There we go, 43. I think I'm going to leave the final three numbers for you to make. So if you can try and make 57, 81 and 99 from household items, that would be absolutely brilliant. And I'll also be uploading a worksheet all about Roman numerals to 100 for you guys to have a go at. Good luck.